So here we have one of our Crataegeus species, commonly known as Hawthorn, in the Rosaceae family. And the Crataegeus can actually be a fairly challenging genus to identify. Um, there are dozens, if not hundreds, of species in North America. And that combined with the tendency of these species to hybridize and arguments over how they should be classified um, often makes this really, really challenging to identify down to the species. So some of the key characteristics of Crataegeus as a genus is they are typically fairly small trees to large shrubs. Um, they can sometimes have a single fairly short trunk or be more thicket forming. The leaves, which again vary from species to species, are often born on these little spur shoots. They can sometimes be lobed, as is the case for Crataegeus monogena, which is the one seed hawthorn, um, also the parsley hawthorn, they have these more lobed leaves. But again, that can vary from one species of Crataegeus to the next. Those leaves are typically anywhere from one to three inches in length. Um, and the margins again lobed or toothed. One thing that a lot of these do have in common is the fruit, which is sometimes commonly known as a haw, H-A-W. <clears throat> and the haw is actually a red or orangish red berry-like palm with a single, uh, typically with a single seed. So these fruits or haws <clears throat> are really, really important browse species for a lot of wildlife whether it's birds like your thrush and your cedar waxwings, small mammals, or even bears. We'll use these because <clears throat> these fruits will actually often still persist on the tree even when the leaves have fallen. So these palms are considered edible raw, although they're typically cooked into jams and jellies or even used to flavor things like your brandy or wine. Um, the leaves are also often considered edible, although people will mostly eat them early in the spring. And in fact, there are some old European dishes where they would crush the young leaves of the Crataegeus or the Hawthorn and add them to pottage. Often the twigs are armed, although in the case of this particular Crataegeus, they are not. And then the leaves will turn red or gold in the fall.